たなはお茶と同じく丁寧に味わってこそ本来の趣向きがわかるものです。旅人さんいいところにいらっしゃいましたねちょうどごゆっ伝言親愛なる進化よ、うん、すみませんこんなに読みにくい文字明らかにフィッシュルからだなとにかくこの伝言を残されたフィッシュルさんはお,お時間があれば行って差し上げてくださいはあ、意味不明来てほしいってことなら Attendance of the Princessin. Which one is it? Retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. My apologies. Main Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Hey, Fischl! You were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started without us. What's got you in such a good mood? And so, the Whisper of Eternal Night summons you back to my side. <laughs> Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come, partake of this joy with me, my subjects. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Paimon wants to say a proper hello too, but... Paimon has no idea how- A normal person in this situation would simply say, Hi, Traveler, how have you been? <laughs> the Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate for- Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from- s Lady M- Mag- <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has been serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. <clears throat> That's just my surname. Don't mind that. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to come, right? Indeed so, my archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. 
<sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. Ah, uh, don't worry. We've been around the block. You can't phase us. Oh, faithful servants. One's homeland, the Imanok Reich, which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation for the glory uh... We what? Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> the Imanok Reich is near Mondstadt. No, please. That will be most unnecessary. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this, I promise. Basically, what Fischl means is... Oh, Lady Ma... Ugh, all right, all right. Honestly, look at me. A genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. The truth is that yesterday, Her Highness encountered the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. It was already getting dark, so, in that spirit of great compassion and on the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her or- Oh no! Is the Imanok Reich really gone? Won't it grow back? Oh, mortal! Your Sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy! But nay, the Imanok Reich is an everlasting realm, in one day. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell me. Please, please. Hmm. Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil haven. Promise me eternal admiration. Lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's homeworld. Could you cut the reenactment and just... In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Immernal Crash will appear. I didn't believe it I... Providence has gifted main Fräulein... This island looks kind of familiar. Traveler, curtail thy umming... I... I think she just wants to invite you along to the island. Huh? Lee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which means that old hag is involved. <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. You, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the world, fathom the celestial path of stardust in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. Must chart the course that leads the way- Oh, Fischl doesn't know the way there! <laughs> for our help. Paimon can tell if you that we are good friends with the Spark Knight. Come on, just play along. Behold, the Watcher, the Guide, the Weaver of Dreams, the Traveler. <laughs> to sum up, <laughs> Traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. Oh, good, fine, done. Uh, right now, um, Lady Magistus needs... Very well. Then it is settled. Main Fräulein means to say, good night. See you all tomorrow. About darn time! Cuckoo! It's 12 o'clock sharp in the Immernacht Reich! <sighs> anyway, Kaya's mind works in mysterious ways. A certain somebody...
Ronstadt. Well, look at that. <laughs> You're really here. Come on, take a seat and join. Wow, Traveler, pom on. Speak of the devil. We were literally just talking about you. <laughs> Kazuma? Shinyan? What are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the tone deaf bard? Tone deaf bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well known singer, fella. Oh, sadly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friend's friends from afar. <laughs> oh, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society or something like that. Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship. And she put me in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazaha. Although Shinyen can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. So oh, you can say that again. In Kazaha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Oh, yeah! We know the one! Really? Y'all sure have a lot of... Uh... Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler. Wow! You're too nice! Unlike some people... By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor? Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you... Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. Your temple of music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories. <laughs> I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a... <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Other one Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves. There was no trial by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter. Summer is the season of love. The End. Interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table, and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry. If you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. Hmm. This one. I like the color. This fella's drunk, but, uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? 
<laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. <sighs> Serious? Anyway... Oh yeah, that's a good point. We didn't come here to drink. sense that you're about to tell me some Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? As I'm sure you've already guessed. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Hmm, Master... A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Alice and Klee... Ding, ding, ding! Correct answer. The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run it. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. Ah, it's a bomb! Minus the fuse. So don't worry, it's not going to explode. Come on, take it. This way we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. It's called a dodo communication device, and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it anytime you want, and there's also a limit on the- I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> she and Klee asked me to tell you. <clears throat> Please take this with you when you depart for the- uh Don't worry about how to get there. Sounds like the two of you- <laughs> Of course not. Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? Ah, fair enough. Actually, Kazuo and Shinyan seem... Ah, oh, you're back. Poor Kazuha's still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle out. Shinyan, do you want to come to... Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Kazuha might act mature, but deep down he's just an well, all the more reason for you to join the island. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They don't official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Huh? Uh, Paimon? Don't get me wrong. I'm just asking to make sure. After all, canceling the iridescence tour after people already made the trip... Ugh! Why won't anyone be... <laughs> Don't worry about whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician. <sighs> I'm sure looking forward to it. Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. You serious? The tone deaf bard actually has plans to do some... I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. Ah, yes. <laughs> the competition being this place. With Aren't you allergic? Yup. <laughs> uh, she told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine up! So have fun. <laughs> and...
one's reckoning with fate, as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu, for today it is time for... Retribution! Main Fräulein, if I may be so po- Of course it wasn't, I just overheard it from- Hmm, let me see... Huh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. Brought with you? Oh, ahem. Allow Paimon to introduce to you. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock. You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars were. Oh, oh I, I like, like her. her. She, she can, can stay. stay. Shinyan, your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me, too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona. And a sh no, well, it's not- Mona is amazing! A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It what ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets and- Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. This guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before! And strike- What? Is he really that- Let me take a look. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great swordmaster like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? One hereby declares you. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Okay, Lady M Mag... Lady Magig... What? Oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. By the way, Lady Magistus, we found out how to get to the front. A legendary great mage gave... Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going. What a, uh, unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? Guoba. Is he the magical creature at Wan Min Restaurant? Now that you mention it, it does look quite similar. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. Hmm, I see, I see. Ho oh, ho! Behold! The doorway cloven by thundering retribution! By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next? I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. He's in! And now- Why, this truly- uh, Maybe I should just do- Lady Batistas, it's fine! This is Alice's- All right, I- Try and stay out, Fischl. You're treading on my hair. I thought it was a sn. Ah, we're flying. Everyone, be careful. <laughs> we finally landed. What was that all about? 
What a beautiful place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. life, and a land filled with flora. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one eye, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <clears throat> <clears throat> shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <sighs> your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, your highness. In this moment, I offer my blessings to Mona. Oh, uh, don't ask. Just follow my lead. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the princessin, who has led us here to this sacred... My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip. Your... Your happiness gladdens one's... Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too much. Main Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps not- Oh, fish, I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you rid- Oh my, Main Fräulein. Steal yourself, Main Fräulein. Oh yeah! Swimming race! Swimming race! Challenge accepted! Heed my words, lowly Lady Magistus! You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live! Ridiculous! I've never lost a single swimming race in my life! Bring it on! First one to run to the beach wins! Are they serious, running? I thought they were gonna swim. I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Xinyan. Seems like everyone's got things to do. Don't worry, I got this. You're gonna take a look around, right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. Thanks, we'll do It is as the stars for literature.
It appears to be some sort of machine. And an army cap with traces of... Also, there are footprints here. Really? Huh? Hmm? <sighs> Traveler. Why? Did you... Someone was here. And there's still... There's other people here? Oh... You said the cap had traces of hydro on it? Then let's follow the traces of elemental energy! We're close. Watch out. Is this the cap you're... My brother's Cappy Cap! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Uh, this guy is... Mm, don't bully me or I'll punch you in the... Uh, monster! Monster! Stop right there! What are you doing here? Another Fatus! We can ask you! Protect Cappy Cap or brother will get mad at me! Forget the cap! It's your brother we're looking for! What happened to him? Nothing. He has a fever. I don't have to tell you anything. Don't bother. This island belongs to our friend. You better watch what you... What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you, but then it's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. Yeah, and if you don't do as you're told... <gasps> Please don't... Hey, stop crying. By the way... <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. As much as I have... Oh! Well, just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Come on, let's go. <gasps> oh, okay. Paimon can't believe we have to deal with... Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I... Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation. You're so considerate, Cos... Paimon, you flatter me. I... The scenery is beautiful. Traveler? <laughs> oh, utter my supreme... Oh, no, you don't. don't! Oh, wise Paimon. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Ooh. Yes, we did walk... Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecued. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. <sighs> I, too. 
Well, there's plenty to go around, so dig in. I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I... Ooh, time to eat! Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Paimon's done talking! You guys carry on if you want to go hungry. Barbecue smell? Mm. This tastes amazing. Mm. Impressive. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. I want to. Anything. He oh Cats. They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. Could you be a... All right, well, Venti, there's some strange things... Uh, the Fatui. <laughs> uh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised... But they're ruining our vacation! Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. Right. Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. Uh, but uh, don't worry. I may be a lowly toned up bard, but you may contact me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, <laughs> right? Uh, sometimes just talking things. Ugh, honest. Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you're the same wind graces the seaside as that would be given. <clears throat> I have to go now. My performance in the cat's tail is starting any second. <laughs> okay, so he means we don't need to worry too much about... Well, if that's what the tone did when you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is... 